Hola, bienvenidos a Zephania Services, Easy Way to Learn Español. Today we are going to go over an intro for our next video lessons on Spanish basics, where we're going to learn greetings, exchange personal information, names of profession, countries, nationalities, and more. Now, in the next video lessons, uh, you're going to learn different ways to greet and say goodbye in Spanish, how to ask and give personal information, how to explain what you do or what your job is, how to say where you come from, how to introduce a third person, and words like where to be, to work, or to speak. Now, there are different ways um, which... You can, you can greet or say goodbye in Spanish. Now, these are a basic ones. Um, saludar y despedirse. Saludar, despedirse. Okay? So, we have hola, que tal? Or you can combine saying hola, que tal? Like, hi, how are you doing? Right? It's very informal. And also, you can say buenos días. Good morning, buenas tardes, or buenas noches. Buenas tardes, good afternoon, buenas noches, good evening. Or you can combine it, uh, including hola and one of these to make it a bit more formal. Like, hola, buenos días, hola, buenas tardes, hola, buenas noches. Excellent. Now let's go over ways in which you can say goodbye. Um, the very uh, typical one that you hear is adios. Now um, I don't um, actually say this one and I explain to you why. Now this word comes from the Latin adeum which means to God. Now the Most High said on the third commandment that thou shalt not take his name his name in vain. And on the first commandment, he says, Thou shalt not have gods before me. The creator is not a god. His name is Yah, Y-A-H, like in Hallelujah, the Hebrew praise phrase, which means praise you, Yah. His name can be found in the book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse 4. Okay, this is a translation in Spanish. Okay, so how can you say goodbye without saying adios, for example? Um, hasta luego, see you later, or hasta pronto, or chao, or hasta el lunes, lunes is Monday, um, so you can combine hasta el with any day of the week, hasta el martes, hasta el miércoles, right? We're going to go in depth. Remember, this is just an intro, and, and we're going to go in depth in the next video lessons. Hasta la próxima, until the next time. Or you can just say, take care, right? Cuídate. Cuídate, okay? And you can always pause the video, take your time, write it down, practice the pronunciation, listen all over again and again until you are comfortable, okay? Now let's move forward. Ask and give personal information. How to explain what you do or what your job is. Okay, ask, pedir y dar información personal, personal information, información personal, pedir y dar, ask and give. Okay, so you may remember this from previous lessons, ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? What's your name? Or how are you called? Translated literally, ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo, followed by your name, right? Easy peasy. De donde eres? Where are you from? Now, the basic formula is I'm from, followed by city or country, right? So, de donde eres? Soy de Venezuela. Or if you want to stay in the country, for example, soy de Maracay, soy de Madrid, soy de Londres, de Washington, de so and so forth, de Bogota, right? So, ¿de dónde eres? Let's see three different examples here. Soy cubano. I'm Cuban. I'm, in this case, it's using the nationality, which we're going to see in, in, in detail in a moment. Um, soy español de Valencia. So, I'm Spanish from this city, right? Or if you're talking to somebody that is from the same city or from the same country as you, oh, I'm, I'm from here. Soy de aquí, 
okay? ¿De dónde eres? And then you can choose these ways um, to reply. Or you can just stay with the basic uh, formula. ¿De dónde eres? Soy de country o city. All right? Now, civil or marital status. Estado civil. This is very important, especially if you fill in a form. Um, normally, you have to stay with a, if, you, if you are single, divorced, or married. Right? Estás casado? Are you married? If you ask in a male person. O estás casada? This will be an A if it's a, a lady. And this is the possible answers. Si, sí, estoy casado, masculine, o casada, feminine. O no, estoy soltero, I'm single, masculine, o soltera, with A, feminine. O no, estoy divorciado, I'm divorced. Right? Ok, let's go on the next one. ¿Qué idiomas hablas? What language do you speak? Um, I speak English and Spanish. Hablo inglés y español. O hablo francés and a little bit of this language. Ok, hablo francés y un poco de alemán. O y un poco de italiano, árabe, japonés. You name it. Ok, so let's go on this section here. And remember, I'm just... We're laying the foundation here in the future video lessons we're going to go in depth um, by using dialogues examples using the information that i'm giving you now okay so do not worry enjoy the journey okay so here how to explain what do you do or what your job is okay people can ask you this in many different ways but here are three basic ones que haces what do you do a que te dedicas is the same like what do you do for a living or en qué trabajas um, what is your job or what do you do it's kind of like in english it's the same question but in spanish you can you can ask the question in different ways um okay so how can we answer this well we can say oh i'm a teacher i'm a lawyer i'm you name it right whatever profession you are so here are two examples soy profesor masculine or profesora feminine soy abogado lawyer or abogada if it's uh, feminine or i work in and then you name the place trabajo en una escuela o en una empresa de a uh, 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 working a company of such and such right so for example i can say soy profesora Y trabajo en una escuela, for example. But well, we're going to go in detail in future video lessons. Okay, so what about if you're not working, you are in a student, you're studying. Okay, uh, for example, ¿qué haces? ¿O a qué te dedicas? Oh, estudio medicina. O estudio eh, otra profesión. Eh, diseño, for example. Estudio medicina, study medicine. Estudio diseño, I'm studying de, uh, design, okay, or graphic design. O soy estudiante de español, soy estudiante de medicina, soy estudiante de diseño, right, for example. O if you're not working, you can say no trabajo. You can give more details, for example, no trabajo, estoy en paro, I'm unemployed. O no trabajo, estoy jubilado o jubilada, I'm retired. Okay, so next, how to introduce a third person. And once again, if you have any, any comments or any questions, sorry, you can leave in, your com in the comment below and I'll be gladly um, be here to respond any queries you may have. Okay, so, presentar a otra persona. Okay, so we have here a very, there are different ways once again, but this is a basic one. Let's say you are in a, in a group of people and you want to introduce somebody. So in this case, you say, oh, mira, oh, look, this is such and such, right? In this example, um, mira, este es Ezra. 
mi esposo. This is Ezra, my husband, for example. O esta es Lea, la profesora. O le presento a the name of the person. That's an example. O you can say, mire, if it's a bit more formal. Uh, mire, these are no, Mr. and Mrs. so-and-so. Estos son los señores López, por ejemplo. O le presento a los señores López. O estas son las profesoras. Oh, nice to meet you. Encantada o oh, encantado. O oh, mucho gusto. Right? Now, um, you see this highlighted here. Uh, these are demonstrative nouns. Um, there, there, obviously, you have this, that. But in this case, we are dealing with this or these. In, Sp in Spanish, you have masculine, feminine, singular, and plural. And I try to show that here. Este, masculine, singular, estos, masculine plural, and the feminine, esta o estas, right? Estas son las profesoras, las profesoras. O estos son los señores López. Okay, this is, this is the plural, and this is the singular. Este es Ezra, y esta es Lía. Excellent. Let's go on the next one. Now, Let's go over countries and nationalities. Country, países, and nationalities is nacionalidades. Okay? So we have those that end in O and in A, masculine, feminine. We have those that end in consonant, masculine, feminine. We have the singular and the plural will be, will be made by these S's here, or ES in this case. And we have a few that don't change. So it's the same nationality for both sexes, masculine and feminine, right? Male and female. So let's go. Um, these are the countries, as you can see. Egypto, Italia, Jordania, Russia, Brazil, Cuba, Argentina, for example. Now, the nationality will be Egipcio, or plural Egipcios, Italiano, Italianos. Jordano, Jordanos, Ruso, Rusos, Brasileño, Brasileños, Cubano, Cubanos, Argentino, Argentinos, and the feminine will be Egipcia, Italiana, Jordana, Rusa, Brasileña, Cubana y Argentina. This is a singular. If if plural, we just need to add the S at the end. Excellent. Now, those are ending consonant. For example, España, Francia, Alemania. Um, por ejemplo, Reino Unido, Dinamarca, Portugal. This, these nationalities will be Español o Españoles, full plural. Frances, franceses, Alemán, alemanes. Inglés, ingleses, danés, daneses, portugués, portugueses. On the feminine, española, as, españolas, francesas, alemanas, inglesas, danesas, portuguesas. You can see that in this case, as it ends in A, the plural is just S. This one's end in consonant. And the plural is ES. There you have it. Excellent. Now, there's a, a few that don't change according to sex from male or female. It's just the same for both, like eh, Estados Unidos, Canada, Marruecos, y Bélgica. Canada, sorry. Canada is in English. Canada, Spanish. <laughs> so the nationality will be estadounidense or estadounidenses for plural, canadienses, marroquí, marroquíes o marroquíes, y bélgica, belga o belgas, for plural. Excellent. 
Now, if you are from any, if you are from a country that is not mentioned here, and you like to know how you know, your nationality will be uh, said in Spanish, by all means, leave a comment. Excellent. Let's go next. We have a few verbs here um, on the present, and we have to speak, to work, and to be. To be has two parts. Um, Star and ser, and ser is used to describe characteristics, identity, and permanent qualities, among other things, which we'll see in detail later. Um, and a star describes temporary conditions or states, location, marital status, and more. Okay, so these are the personal nouns. Uh, yo, this is like I, you, yo, tú. He, she, el, ella, usted is the formal, like you, formal, nosotros, o nosotras, we, vosotros, o vosotras, you, the plural, ellos, ellas, they, masculine, feminine, and ustedes, formal. Okay, now, let's do this. Yo hablo. Tú hablas, él, ella habla, nosotros hablamos, vosotros habláis, ellos o ellas hablan. Ok, it's the same with trabajar, ok, hablar, trabajar, estar. So, yo trabajo, tú Trabajas. Él trabaja. Nosotros trabajamos. Vosotros trabajáis. Ellos trabajan. Excellent. By all means, pause the video, practice, write it down. Ok. Estar. Yo estoy. Tú estás. Él está. Nosotros estamos. Vosotros estáis. Ellos están. 